Hello guys. Would you like to be Batman with a jetpack who can also wield a lightsaber? Yeah, I thought so. This mod is called Energy Blades by D Magnus. And this mod adds a new highly customizable melee energy weapon and comes replete with custom meshes, sounds, textures, and even impact effects. The weapon is highly customizable with a choice of 14 plus blade colors, 15 plus hilt designs, power modules, and a variety of hums, shutoff, slash ignition, and swing sounds. Also, I kind of want to add that um, not only can you customize all of that, but you can also customize whether or not the blade looks really like unstable and wobbly looking because of a weak crystal, or really precise and sharp looking from a really like compact, strong crystal. They really went in depth with this mod. Known issues are putting the weapon away in third person causes the ignition sound to play instead of the shut off sound. And this is a problem in the vanilla game and we, we're not sure if it can be fixed. So basically like this, if you're in third person and you try to put the lightsaber away, it'll, it'll play the ignition sound instead of the shut off sound. Also, it says wielding that weapon two-handed results in you holding it like a baseball bat, meaning the player or NPCs that wield lightsabers will rest a blade on their hands. But these are really small bugs to pay for a really good mod. So right off the bat, if you want to go straight to a camp station, I recommend that you immediately stock up on any compact crystals, um, any crack crystals even, because those also play a part in some other lightsaber mods. As well as just regular crystals and any other like special crystals such as the electric and the radiation type crystals that add kind of more variety of damage to your to your lightsaber. So make sure to really stock up on these if you really want to like get into like making a variety of lightsabers to play around with. Also a really important thing when you're trying to make these lightsabers is make sure you have science 3 perk because it helps out with making everything. Yeah. Now, when this guy says more than 15 blade colors and blade hilts, that was him being generous. There are so many hilts to choose from in this mod. There's also a hilt from that one guy in the new Star Wars movies that's basically a wannabe Darth Vader. You even have that T-shaped hilt. Yeah. Yes, you can have that. So I crafted a blue lightsaber, which is kind of one of the defaults, and here's how it sounds. <laughs> Now you can either make these a short lightsaber, long lightsaber, you can you can actually remember that lightsaber hilt earlier with the teeth, you can actually make each part of that separate side a different color. Even if the saber is green, you can also make the light come off of it blue, which I thought was a pretty cool feature. Also, one of the features that they forgot to put in the description that I found on accident is that if you time it right, you can actually deflect a bullet with a with a lightsaber, just like in the Star Wars movies. So this is just me kind of fooling around with how much damage this melee weapon actually does because most of the melee weapons I, I usually use don't do anything so melee weapons aren't in, van in the vanilla game aren't really that good but these lightsabers you can actually use it as a legitimate weapon sometimes against a, like swamp creatures uh, regular raiders and even some uh, some of the super mutants they can actually be like two shotted or three shotted with this lightsaber. So this is an actual, like, legitimate weapon that you might use on a regular basis if you mod it correctly. And the amount of customization in these lightsabers basically means that you can have one of the primary melee weapons that you use on a regular basis almost feel like it's an extension of yourself. So basically, like, you feel more connected to this weapon that you constantly use. And that's one of my favorite parts of this mod, and that's kind of why I made this review in the first place. Just don't try to use this against death claws cuz you'll lose also I went ahead and crafted a, a lightsaber for Nora and gave it to one of my companions and if you don't know who Nora is I did a review on her a while ago so definitely check out that Nora review I just thought it was pretty cool that you could watch your companion try to use a lightsaber and it's kind of just a thing to just step back and watch like a saber fight happen. 
And as far as the sounds go, as when you hit something, I think they did a really good job on the audio. So if you want to go to your mod browser and try to get this mod for yourself, remember that it, it is 182 megabytes. So I did have to end up deleting a few mods that I didn't find useful at the time to kind of just, you know, squeeze it in my mod list, but it was definitely worth it. So do make sure you have enough uh, memory space before you actually try to download this mod because it's almost 200 megabytes. I'm pretty sure that uh, a mod like this would eventually come into existence and I'm just really glad that they ended up doing a very good job on this kind of mod. As far as I see, I think this mod is absolutely flawless. I rarely ever, if not at all, experience any bugs with this mod. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that you can also get lightsabers off of synths if you find them. And a lot of synths, or just like regular, like, weaker level ones all the way to the coursers have a chance of wielding an institute laser sword. So that's also a thing if you want to go hunt down synths just to farm laser sword parts. I think that's a pretty good summary of this mod. And if you guys want to, like, you know, know any information about it yourself, I, I recommend just downloading it yourself and tinkering around with this mod. And if you guys have any other suggestions of what other mods I should go into depth of in, or just do a quick review on it, also leave that in the comments below. Or if you have any video ideas, suggestions at all, also leave that in the comments below. Uh, leave a like if you, you know, you thought I would do the... Cut, cut that out, cut that out. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You were like the perfect mask, and I am the colors that are underneath. You hide behind the pain while I take up all the fame. How do you hide from fears when they live inside your brain? You have no control for this, beating off your hopelessness. The hate gives you strength when there's weakness in your veins. Before.